<laughs> Amazing. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Molly Wood, thank you so much for joining us, Molly. All right, Justin, I feel like now's a good time for you and my, me to have like a candid conversation about some stuff that's sort of been weighing on us for a while. I mean, I'm glad you brought it up because I feel like we've it's been something we've talked about behind the scenes, but it's not something that we've brought up in, in public. And it's about time we talked about it. Well, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, as you know, here on the show, we don't have sponsors. We have friends. And there's a friend of ours that... Uh, Does anyone who has a sponsor, even if you're writing for the New York Times, you're a fucking sellout. Yeah, no, you're a total sellout if you have sponsors. If you fucking accept a dime to say good things about a fucking company, corporate America bullshit... Oh, yeah, you're, you're fucking so corporate overlords. Fuck you! You think, you're, you think like, you're so great... Dance you do for everything me. wrong Dance with the world. Me. Dance you, for my shekels. If Does you that make take it racist one dime to be paid to speak an opinion about anything ever, you're worse than Hitler and Satan having sex with a donut. Everybody knows this. Now let's talk about our good friends. Who are they again? Squarespace, Brian. If you were to make a website about how you're a bold, independent thinker who doesn't take money from yeah. fucking corporate america you'd go to squarespace want to know why because yeah. the fucking nsa in <laughs> conjunction with the cia in conjunction with the ghost of fucking abel hicklebottom will <laughs> never be able to get to your website because that shit never goes down Tell you what, man, when I came up with Hicklebottom.org, I went and registered it at Squarespace, and now it's Hicklebottom.org, all spelled out, .squarespace.com. You know what I loved about it? It was super easy to set up. You know, they didn't want the truth to get out. They don't want it to be difficult for you to make clear your intentions to the world. They want you to be able to tell the truth. And you, and if you're able to Hicklebottom, that's the name, right? Um, Hick, uh, listen, uh, we uh, all remember the hateful things that were said by Abel Hicklebottom. Uh, <laughs> it's so much so that uh, my face was frozen. I couldn't even, I, I was just stuck in a contemplative pose because I, I couldn't even remember. Brian, you remember all those horrifyingly, the horrifying things that Abel Hicklebottom used to say, yeah, right? The first stuff was he'd say like, you know what I heard the other day? Justin Robert Young said, and then he filled in a bunch of stuff that I'm not going to say because I don't want it to reflect poorly on poor Abel Hicklebottom. Well, no, he's a scumbag and a racist and a pederast. And uh, it's really, I mean, we all remember. Like, swear to God. The I swear quote, to God. There's somebody, out there, God. there's somebody out there named Hicklebottom, and we're going to deeply regret this bit. <laughs> Hey, man, and look, here's the like, important thing. Like, listen, if Abel Hicklebottom is listening to this right now, <laughs> fuck it. All right? Fucking for real. You're disgusting. And yeah. your legacy is one of hatred and bigotry. <laughs> Dude, I wonder if Abel Hicklebottom has a Twitter that he's going to respond to us from. <laughs> or maybe he has I a Tumblr either. page. I don't know what. I hope he says, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the famous quote that is just on the tip of everybody's tongue. What is it, Brian? I, you always remembered it better than me. <laughs> well, uh, you know what? Months in 2099 points out that even spam is disgusted by what Abel Hicklebottom does. Uh, and the quote, of course, is uh, the juice. Oh, you know, we had a bit of a Skype duck out there. Uh, you know, that's really... But I think we all get the idea. Join the conversation. Uh, hashtag fuck Abel Hicklebottom is really what we want to get trending right now. Yes, uh, let exactly. him know that you're sick of his shit and uh, you're going to start a website to combat his hate language by going to Squarespace right now. We want everybody to let their freak flag fly. Be who you want to be. Set up a website. It makes it really easy to have it look pretty on, on the web. Maybe on a phone. How about a tablet? Listen, man, I ain't your fucking dad. I'm not going to tell you fucking how to make your website look great, but I will tell you the way you can do it. Go to Squarespace. Because as we all know, Abel Hicklebottom's dying breath was... <laughs> All you kids will have ugly looking websites that'll go down because of the Jews. <laughs> hey, man, don't forget to head on over to what's the website at squarespace.com. Squarespace.com. Uh, Use offer code NAP 
The letters N-A-P, they stand for Night Attack Podcast. But they also say, take a dirt nap, you dirty old racist Abel Hicklebottom. We Got hope it. that you fucking died today. Dude, if you hate Abel Hicklebottom the way we hate Abel Hicklebottom, then show your <laughs> hatred for Abel Hicklebottom by heading on over to Squarespace.com. Use promo code Night Attack, and it will kill him. It will physically <laughs> have, ensure his listen, death. All right, here's a real thing. This is not a fucking joke, right? If five people sign up for Squarespace and then hashtag join the conversation by tweeting out the, the, the picture of them subscribing to Squarespace, Abel Hicklebottom will die. He will die. Yes. He has said, I'll bet you five people won't sign up for Squarespace this week. Yeah. Juice. <laughs> Yeah, dude, here's the thing. We care about the environment, and we care about killing a man named Abel Hiddle Icklebottom. <laughs> if you want to help assassinate this individual, please sign off at Squarespace and use our promo code. Squarespace will bring death on this man. They will personally see to it that he is murdered, and his hate speech is eradicated from this earth and all others once and for all. Man, that was a lot of fun having a sponsor for a while, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you think insinuating our sponsor will murder an elderly racist is something that they will not like to be associated with their website brand? Uh, you know, there's only one way to find out.